Hey guys, Coach 2K back with another NBA 2K My League series video as we got a game with the Boston Big Feet coming up. If you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button, click the bell to get notified whenever I upload anything new so you don't miss a single episode of my series or any other NBA 2K video I put out. We've been slowly touching up the uniforms and the court and obviously we've been changing the uniforms and everything for the other teams. I'd already changed all the names, so as we go along here, I'll be trying to make these better over time. As you can see, both our home and away unis right now. I got the big print on the back, so I can see the numbers of the players, at least on my team, make it easier. With my bad eyesight, if you've been watching my videos, you know what I'm talking about. So the big feed are 4-4. Four and four. They're in the Atlantic Division. You can see the mutants. Leading the division at 6-1, and one, and right now we're 3-6, and six, trying to get our fourth win of the season. Their best player, Bobby Bernard, is out, and he's got a fracture. Looks like a right-hand fracture. This is an ongoing theme. Everybody's best player is out, including ours. I looked at Bobby Bernard here. He's from Michigan. Their best, next best player, Jawan Peeler, who we'll probably see. He is a playmaker, 82 rated overall from Arizona, and he's a point guard. So hopefully he's not too tough because we have a tough time guarding point guards. So we'll see what happens in this game. And then they got Jordan Holmes, another 80 rated skilled sharpshooter. So looking forward to seeing what these guys look like. But with their best player out, hopefully we have a shot to get our fourth win of the season and uh, try and get to 500. Let's hope we can do that here pretty soon. Statistically, Bobby Bernard's their leading scorer, Holmes and Peeler, but they got uh, their top five guys in double figures there. So we'll have our hands full. There's Bobby Bernard's injury situation. Right hand fracture, two to four weeks. He's been out for a little while. I think he got injured in the first part of the season. Of course. Byron Dantley, still about another week, week and a half or two before he comes back from his uh, sprained left wrist. So we're going to change the lineup here. We're going to move the Juker from the center's position to small forward and Jedevic to shooting guard. And we're going to bring Bayo into the starting lineup at center. So we're hoping the changes that we make here in the lineup will pay off and help us get our fourth win of the season. Hopefully we don't mess up our bench dynamic. There's the new unis. <clears throat> what do you guys think? I like the large print. <laughs> but that's just me. Yeah, well, at least we're at home. <clears throat> and uh, so there's a look at the uh, new floor. I darkened up the green a little bit. I darkened up the uh, logo, which I had down on Fiverr, by the way. Eventually I'll have <coughs> logos for every team. As we get into the first quarter here, we get a nice block, and we're going to get out in transition as Bayo gets us started. And we're going to find the Juker behind the line. He's going to pop the three. And we're up 3-2 early as they get it right back. And the Juker says, hey, I'm going to try that again. But uh, Bayo has to get the miss and put it in. There, Bayo's still working the offensive boards. One of the reasons he got put in the st starting lineup, he's seven foot one. And the Juker's seven foot, so, you know, we're pretty big as there's Bayo inside, sneaking behind everybody. And here's one of these new plays we put in, and we got a nice dunk by Warwick from the point guard spot. I ran that play in practice quite a bit. Juker doing the reverse. And we are up 11-8 early. Off to a good start. I like it. All right, so we're gonna go into the post here with Bayo. See if Bayo can score here, and he does a nice little flip over his head there to get it in. And West hits the three off the pick and fade. Oh, here's a nice play here. <laughs> Alley you play to Bayo from Warwick. Bale's fitting in nicely into the starting lineup. As uh, 
keeping it close early 1513 work with a nice little fade away from in the post look at those big numbers I like it I got to do the same thing for everybody else though as Bayo flips it in all these other teams I can't see who they are half the time and we're gonna find Bayo again with a nice duck as we build an eight-point lead Bayo's gonna go to the line but he's not gonna convert and uh, we miss a lot of M1 shots for the second half of free throws and then we give up this kind of thing on the other end too many times so we're going to have to shoot better from the line or play, play better tr transition defense by the way i think that official i gotta find out that official's name he's always calling fouls on us as we get the steal and we're out on the break and we get gatson in the air with the alley-oop good job cummings finding gatson Way to run the floor, guys, as we are up 23 to 16, and Cummings gets inside. They can't stop him. And Gatson with another dunk. <laughs> Good job, Gatson. Look at that. All right, so we're off to a great start. 27-16. We already got a double-digit lead. As uh, Hood mus muscles it in. And gets the bucket. Oh, Cummings again. I think that's Cummings, yeah. He gets the goaltending, uh, the shot, the score after the goaltending call. Stauskas would play pretty good for them. He was very active in this game as he cuts the lead to seven with the leaner. And we find Cummings again, who's playing really well here in the first quarter. Good job, Cummings. With the left hand off the glass for the lay-in. So into the second quarter here. Nice another play here as we find Cummings again. Wide open for another layup. An 11 point lead. Now we're up by nine. Second quarter. And they get out in transition off the steal. And Stauskas lays it in. All right. So there's Brayshawn Holmes getting, I think, his first two of the game. And another easy basket. Taylor. Taken to the rim that time. Taylor must have heard me talking bad about him in my salary cap video. It's Cummings with another layup. <laughs> We're up 13. Oh, man. This is... I think that's Hood. Hood puts in another shot there from mid-range. That's the Juker. Yeah, he's awesome in the post. And now we're up 13. <laughs> oh, yeah. That work with a dunk, and he gets fouled, but he couldn't convert. <laughs> I'm sure we gave up an easy basket on the other end after he missed the free throw, but I don't remember for sure. As we get to work again, and he tosses it in. 45, 30, 15 point lead as Hood finds another shot with a long two. And Warwick is doing what Cummins did. Cummings did when he was in the game. And there we go. Another miss <laughs> off the back end. And Peeler drops in the mid-range shot. Got the lead back down to 15. All right, so we had some success running some new plays here. And we're going to find... Is that Jedevic? Yeah. With the dunk, he elevates. Nobody within five feet of him. Some good offense we're running. We're up 17 now as we get up in transition. <laughs> Kid. Running the floor out front of everybody. Bayo gets triple teamed. He finds Jedevic for the three. And now we're up 22 points. Second quarter ain't even over it yet. Oh, nice play here. Backdoor cut by Jedevic. Another wide open layup good job Jedevic playing well at the shooting guard spot we're up 23 as Bayo feeling it inside alright so this is a good sign here that the lineup change was very effective as oh, the juker look at the juker man oh with the dunk because uh, with Danley out, probably another three, four, or five games. I mean, we needed to find some wins here. As the Juker gets inside, but he gets his shot blocked. Good defense by the big feet. As a pain blocks his shot on what should have been an open layup. And Gatson working inside. 
the Stauskas? Yeah, Stauskas throws it in, cuts the lead to 20. At the end of the first half, we're shooting 71% in the first half. We've been here before, though. <laughs> We've lost leads, leading by 25 and a half before as Bryce Kidd gets the dunk inside. Way to go, Bryce. All right, so off to pick and roll. Look at this, Gatson fading out to the three-point line where he's very effective, and he knocks down the three. Garnett finds... Holmes inside for the dunk. Rayshon Holmes playing well, too. Picking up the slack from the bench that Bayo left open. Good job, Holmes. Big block there. And so, into the fourth quarter now. As uh, Justice misses the three, Holmes working inside to get the offensive rebound and put it in. So... Now it's just Justice is in. We got our bench in. Most of the start to first quarter, we kind of cleared the bench until they got tired to put our starters back in. Here's Taylor scoring on the break. And we are now up by 30. <laughs> Holmes with another offensive rebound puts us up by 32. Here they get the steal. Kemp out in the open court. Can he dunk it? Oh, no. He, <laughs> he must be like 45 years old. He couldn't even get off the ground. As uh, we shoot the three, I think that might be... God, who was that that took that three? Oh, nice alley-oop to Hodges. Caught us by surprise. Probably the highlight of the game for the big feet. And uh, here they're going to find Harlan. Harlan came in late. He had a pretty good game, finished the and one, and so another, like this is the last highlight of the game here, as we find Bayo wide open underneath. He gets the slam dunk, Bayo capping off the game that he started, but the player of the game honors went to Rayshon Holmes, our big guy off the bench. Good job, Rayshon. He had Really nice game, as he looked pretty good, and boy, what a relief to get a win. Oh, we shot really well. Our shooting percentage dropped in the second half. Still only managed four three-pointers. Had a lot of uh, had 10 offensive rebounds. We took care of the ball under 10 turnovers, which is great. Bayo led us with a double-double in his first start as a hobgoblin, going 8 for 10 from the floor. The Juker had 13. Holmes with a double-double, 12, 12, and 5 assists. Got to like that. Cummings had 12, too. Uh, Holmes, for them, had 15. Harlan, 14. Stauskas with 10. Pretty quiet team from the big feet, but we'll take it because we need the wins. Nice to get a win at home. We've been struggling at home. Bayo immediately after the game said, I'm ready to sign a new contract. <laughs> oh, well, that's good to hear. See, my, I like the fact that you're ready to sign a new contract. You still got a two-year deal here, I think. Yeah, two years, six and a half, seven million dollars. So we've been watching the contracts. He said he'll sign for, what, 3.8, 3.9 million dollars. But uh, our priority right now, figure out how to sign Dantley, who is undecided right now. So I'm not sure we're going to do anything with Bale. What do you think I should do with Bale's contract right now? We're going to need all the cap space we got. Players of the Week, Hakeem Booth beat, uh, stopped Byron Dantley's Player of the Week streak in Eastern Conference. And Hot Rod Dupree from the Leviathans in the West. Dupree, look at that, he dropped 50 this week against the Dallas Demigods. He had 24 and 12 in his last game. And look at that, Ikeem Booth. Double doubles in the last four games. He's been playing well. So Mutants also leading in the Eastern Conference. Scores around the league. The Boogeymen in a close game beat the Demons. The Grim Reapers beat the Centaurs to improve to 6 and 4. Of course, we beat the Big Feet. They shut us down in the second half. That's not a good sign, but we improved to four and six. The Zombies 
beat the mutants to give them their second loss of the season. The shapeshifters improved to five and five with a win over the Wraith. In that game, Gus Cherry, 21 rebounds, career high for Gus Cherry. We played him in our last game. He had a nice putback dunk in that game. So Gus Cherry, good job, 21 boards. As the Satyrs lost to the Gnomes, both teams under 500. The doppelgangers got beat by the vampires. And Leviathans with their first loss of the season to those pesky polder guys who row in six when we faced them. I thought I think they won three straight. All right, so we're improved to four and six. Starting lineup paid off. We're happy to see that. So, all right. Well, that's great action for us today. I'm Coach 2K, and I'll see you on the court in our next game. Thanks for watching.